The Samsung NX210's RAW photos and the shooting experience it provides distinguish it from interchangeable lens competitors, but it's slower than it should be and JPEG photos don't match the rest of the field. The camera has essentially the same body as the NX200, solidly built and larger than most competitors, but that's what helps make it more comfortable to grip. For those unfamiliar with Samsung's iFunction system, it consists of a button on the lens which invokes shooting settings such as ISO sensitivity or shutter speed. You then adjust them using the manual focus ring. The iFunction system distinguishes the NX cameras from other ILCs in a way that adds to the shooting experience rather than detracting from it. The alternative adjustment system is Samsung's Smart Panel Interactive Control Panel interface, which you pull up with the function button. It's easy to use, but I miss the type of customization control that Panasonic's cameras offer over the interface, as well as the capability to save custom settings. As with a host of Samsung's 2012 cameras, the NX210's built-in 802.11n wireless can be used to connect to a Wi-Fi network for a variety of things, as well as some peer-to-peer -peer operations with your smartphone. While it's much better than nothing, the interface is still fairly cumbersome. You have to go into a special Wi-Fi mode. It can't save passwords for Wi-Fi connections, though it will remember and reconnect if you try to connect to the same access point as the last connection. Mobile Link, which transfers photos between devices and the camera, basically lets you select and copy. And Remote Viewfinder is exactly that. A second screen with a capture button and the ability to toggle flash, self-timer, and file size. The camera produces extremely good raw images up to ISO 3200, but JPEGs begin to show noticeable artifacts as low as ISO 400. In all other respects, the camera delivers very nice images. In an unusual move, it defaults to the neutral color settings rather than the more typical saturation and contrast boosted standard like other cameras do. I prefer that. And even the NX210's neutral images come out reasonably saturated rather than flat looking. The exposures look good and it meters consistently. Video looks typical. It's fine for most travel, kid, and animal clips. The autofocus pulses a bit, but color and exposure look good. In low light, there's some clipping in the shadows and some color noise, but otherwise it's acceptable. As with most OLED displays, the screen's bright and contrasty, and it remains sufficiently visible in direct sunlight, so the absence of a viewfinder is not much of a problem. I like the NX210. I enjoy shooting with it but I think there are too many confusing choices for automatic operation and the JPEG quality needs to be better. And while the speed of the autofocus never really got in my way, it should be a little more responsive for the money. I'm Lori Grunin and this is the Samsung NX210.